who's ready to hear Kira Grodig speak? Give it up for Kira Grodig! What? <laughs> uh, so guys, I'm actually getting a little bit comfortable here because I need to think about what I'm going to say. <laughs> I didn't have <coughs> any time to actually prepare anything because I thought, okay, in the break I'm going to do it, but I was standing here, so let me just recap for a moment and get, get into a meditate, meditative state. <sighs> okay. So I hope you don't mind me sitting down a little bit, getting a little comfortable. So you guys are probably thinking, like, why <laughs> am I talking about black consciousness? I mean, look at me and the white man in Africa. And when I sent Mo that title, I was like, why did I do that? Because there are also white African guys, actually. So my bad, actually. <laughs> now, why did I choose that topic? I met a guy one week ago. On a bus ride, 12 hours, I was in Hungary, in Ljubljana, I was working, just really looking like crap. Sweating, I could smell myself, I was hairy, I was just like, Wah. And then in Ljubljana, I was sitting on the ground just like that actually, <laughs> and that guy asked me, hey, uh, do we have to wait here, or are we, are we good here? And I just answered to him instantly in German because I heard, Okay, that guy actually must be from Germany because, you know, we're going there. So when I looked at him, I felt this instant connection in some way. His name is Ola, and I told him that I will talk about this because he really touched my heart. We were sitting on the bus, seven hours, talking constantly, sometimes a beautiful silence, and sometimes just letting it flow. It was so natural. And then we got to a topic that was named Black Consciousness. I was like, what is that? I mean, I, I've never heard about that. I mean, I heard about the colonial times. And, oh well, he told me an example. Actually, I'm going to stand up now, sorry. Once, or not only once, it happened so freaking many times, actually, <laughs> that he was sta he's standing at the um, at the street, like uh, he's like 34. Sorry that I'm saying that, but now everybody knows. Everybody's gonna know in the world, and in the whole wild world, www. <laughs> so the thing is, he was standing at the street with his you know young age, and then there's this older, elderly, to be respected man, Afro American, as in black. Sorry for not being politically correct and he was like maybe like 80 90 years old and that man of respect told him go ahead please sir go ahead and he it felt so perverted to him and this happened so many times and if you go to africa no matter where uh, no matter what no matter where not every black man is doing that of course but it's a thing it's the black consciousness they don't maybe don't consciously think I don't know that they may, might not consciously think a hey, okay uh, I, you're better than me but the history is like set in their bones I don't know if you say that um, in English but it's there it's present this colonial mindset is just it's still tearing people apart so what I want to say is the white man or like, let's say, in the developed countries, exclamation marks, they're coming to volunteer. They're gonna come, coming to volunteer in Africa with their beautiful project, yeah? You know, their project, a project, like a startup, it's like a baby, and they're, they're like, hey, guys, I have this amazing idea, so I'm gonna help you. But that's exactly what we're not supposed to do. Like, in uh, schools, in wherever it is, like institutions, people always, like, teachers say, A, for your CV, it's cool to go there, volunteer, blah, 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 blah. But in the end, in the end, it really does something bad to the people. It really does. Because the black man, he starts to be depend on the, on, on the white man. And that's a terrible feeling, like, depending, like, oh, he's more valuable than me. 
And I'm not saying that everybody, every black man thinks like that, but it's there. It's a huge, it's a huge problem actually. And we really have to work on that. Thank you.